If you're a technology enthusiast with a knack for DIY projects such as yours truly, you probably agree with me saying that the Raspberry Pi is the best piece of tech that came into existence in the last decade. It's been 4 years since the release of the original Pi, and now we not only have a modest lineup of Pis available, but also an entire ecosystem of all different add-ons such as cameras, sensors, displays, DACs and whatnot. A Pi itself offers a lot for the money, but in many cases this simply isn't enough. For instance, the quality of the audio output is very questionable, and no, it's not audio voodoo, and you don't need superpowers to hear the difference. That's where companies such as Hyphy Berry come into play. Hyphy Berry is a Swiss-based company with a rather modest lineup of very well-rounded products solely focused on the Pi sound department. What I love about the products is the plug-and-play design, which makes installation a walk in the park. Simply attach the enclosed plastic stand-ups to the Pi, line up both PCBs and gently push them together and secure the entire assembly with some plastic screws. It doesn't get simpler than that, believe me, I know what I'm saying. From there, it's only a matter of connecting power supply, which also powers the Pi through the GPIO pins, some speakers, and of course installing operating system able to take full advantage of the hardware. I myself am a big fan of Volumio, which is easy to install and supports the entire selection of Hyphy Bear products out of the box. The M Plus is able to deliver as much as 25 watts per channel when powering 4 ohm impedance speakers. I know that 25 watts doesn't seem like a lot, but it actually is more than enough to fill a large room with a sound. Given the small footprint, the M Plus is perfect for all kinds of projects where size is the key factor. I myself will use it to give a serious makeover to this vintage radio I got a while ago. You should definitely stay tuned for that one. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.